on the 9th of February 2011, the Greek flag then owned motor vessel Irene SL was sailing from Fujaira in the UAE to the Suez in Egypt with its final destination as Louisiana, USA, carrying $200 million worth of Kuwaiti crude oil. It was thought that the ship was about 220 nautical miles from Amman when it was reported missing, with a crew of seven Greeks, 17 Filipinos, and a Georgian making a total of 25 crew members on the ship. Several hours later, the European Union Anti-Piracy Workforce and the EU Naval Force in Somalia declared that the ship was hijacked around 9.30 that morning by Somali pirates when it was approximately 350 nautical miles southeast of Muscat in the North Arabian Sea. The ship has been communicating with the UK maritime trade operations and reporting to the Greek Merchant Maritime Ministry as well as the ship operating company during the journey, but all communications were lost after the attack. The MV Irene SL was approached by heavily armed pirates in small boats at high speeds that morning. They were able to access the vessel by attaching small aluminium ladders to the edges using grappling hooks. Once on board, the pirates were able to take control of the vessel and ordered the captain to sail for the coast of Somalia where the ship was held for 58 days. The hijacking pirates successfully negotiated the enormous amount of approximately $14 million as a ransom for the release of the vessel, especially due to the value of cargo it was holding and the fact that it was used as a mothership during that time. Interpol General Secretariat, known as IPSG, as an international policing organization, monitors incidents of maritime piracy. It established Project BADA to coordinate anti-piracy operations and operational support to law enforcement agencies in standing against international piracy. It is therefore that IPSG was aware of the attack on the MV Irene SL and had to interfere. After the MV Irene SL was released on the 10th of April 2011, the Interpol General Secretariat requested the Interpol National Central Bureau of the South African Police and the International Association of Independent Tanker Owners, known as the Intertanker, to assist an incident response team from the headquarters in Lyon, France, to conduct an investigation on board the vessel. The owner of the vessel communicated the captain on board to sail MV Irene SL to Durban, it was expected to arrive on April 16, 2011, when the investigation would take place. However, due to the wind and tide, it didn't arrive until the morning of April 19. During this time, a meeting was held by the Interpol's team in Durban to set up a plan. Another meeting was also held with the owners, their lawyers, and the local shipping agent to inform them about objectives and plans of the Interpol's team. Once the ship arrived, an investigation that lasted 24 hours was concluded, collecting evidence consisting of DNA, fingerprints, documents, and ammunition. The evidence collected by the Interpol Incident Response Team assisted Greece in its first maritime piracy prosecution.